Welcome to Bella Nona Design Studio. I'm Jamie. And I'm Megan. We're going to show you the Hostas Block of the Month quilt today. I was inspired to uh, design this quilt because I was out in my garden wandering amongst my Hosta plants and I just love them so much and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be great to do a Hosta quilt? So I ran into my studio and I looked at the fabrics and Yes, we had good greens, we had good background colors. And now we're going to talk to you about fabric choices using our City Culture 2 fabric line through Island Batik. that we use to create this quilt. Beginning with the Kai scissors. So these are nice and sharp. They're made in Japan. They're one of our favorite scissors uh, to use in pretty much all of our projects. And next up, yes, we're gonna use some tracing paper by Clover. And we need a tracing wheel and it has um, a blunt edge. It looks like a scallop around the edge. And this is what we're gonna trace our veins onto our leaf. So you can see here where we've already used it for one leaf, kind of tracing the veins on so that when you're stitching you have a really clean line to follow in this hot pink that stands out really good on the green fabric. And it will wash away. Oh yeah, that part's important, right? Yes. We don't want to add hot pink unless we're not going to see it again. So uh, next up we got this guy. This is a chalk pencil. Comes in very handy when maybe your lines haven't come through real clear when you've traced them and you just want to make a little extra mark so you know where you're going. It just comes in handy and it too washes away a chalk pencil. All right, so we got this row of Misty Fuse here. Comes in packages looking like this. And this one is black. And then this one is white. I'll give this to you to explain it a little further. Misty Fuse is a beautiful um, fusible. It has no paper backing and it's very, very lightweight. It looks like a cobweb. It comes in the three colors, like Megan said, black, white, and then also an ultraviolet. For this project, you will need the big package, which is 20 inches wide by 10 yards. And I used the white. But the black works as well, except for behind the white fabric. So next up, we have the superior needles. We have a number 90 needle and then a number 80 needle. And you use these for two different things, so tell us a little bit about that. The 80 needle, 8012, I use just for stitching the blocks together and basic stitching. The 90 needle is used for the um, top stitching and the decorative stitching with these beautiful um, superior threads that we've used. We have used Magnifico by Superior and they have wonderful, wonderful colors and they stitch beautifully and we're really happy with those. Um, next is another product that works very well for this quilt and it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's called um, Shape Flux. Right, Shape Flex, thank you. You're welcome. It's a woven fusible, which is important in this case because as you're stitching around the blocks, you're doing heavy, tight stitching, and you're doing it on the bias sometimes, and a regular back backing might tweak a little. This holds it really firm, so when you're all done with your stitching, you have a beautifully flat block. You can also butt it up together if you don't have a wide enough piece for your backing. We'll show you what the Misty Fuse and the Shape Flex look like after they're fused onto the fabrics. Megan, here's the black Misty Fuse on some green fabric. So you see that this is what it looks like on the back. You can really see the black a lot better when it's on the fabric. Um, this is what the right side of the fabric looks like, so you kind of see the difference there. The white Misty Fuse, you're just not going to see on the fabric as much. It looks more like a sheen, but both work really well, and they're very lightweight. And the shape flex that we used is just cut a tiny bit smaller than the block all the way around to reduce the bulk in the seam lines. It 
fuses on very nicely. Okay, so what's next? The nonstick Teflon sheet, sometimes called the goddess sheet. This is a piece of Teflon that is used to put over the top. You lay your fabric down, then your misty fuse on top of it, and then you lay the sheet on top of the misty fuse and iron it. Keeps the misty fuse from getting on your iron and helps quickly fuse it to the fabric. All right, and next up we have the roll of freezer paper, right? Freezer paper is indispensable. You won't use it too much, but what I found really helpful is when you're trying to cut out intricate pieces, it's easier to use a, the freezer paper than it is just the regular paper pattern. For example, this one up here. See how many in and outs it has? And it, it's hard to pin the pattern piece all the way down. So what I do is I just trace the pattern piece onto the freezer paper, iron the freezer paper onto the fabric, putting your sheet, your Teflon sheet underneath because you've already fused the Misty Fuse to the fabric and you don't want to iron it to your ironing board. And then you just iron on your freezer paper pattern and it's much easier to cut it out. So last but not least, we've got our fray check over here. And how do you use that, Mom? I just use it to secure the ends of my stitching to keep them from raveling out works great and it dries clear. That pretty much covers all of the supplies that you're going to need and then keep following along because all of the videos that come after this are going to be a lot more specific in constructing the quilt, doing the directional fabric of the backgrounds, and making sure that you have a beautiful end result like you see behind us. Thank you for joining us today.